points in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And with the terrible towels waving wildly, we are underway from Pittsburgh. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So the Steelers make their way out, led by their fourth-year quarterback, picked up in the offseason from the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields. And while things obviously didn't pan out in Chicago, he told us the other day that he's looking forward to making the most of this next opportunity. Let's not forget, Fields is one of the few quarterbacks in NFL history to rush for over 1,000 yards in a season. So his struggles certainly have been from a lack of talent. But for him to make the next step, he has become as productive with his arm as he is with his legs. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Pickens is coming off a season where he clips the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career and averaged a league-leading 18.1 yards per reception. He is truly a budding superstar, and the Steelers are going to continue to find ways to get him the ball. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. To throw his fields. He gets it complete to Harris. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here now a third down and eight. Here's Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. Good coverage there, holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle as we look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions. I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that, but remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year. And they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now Rodgers. Incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Rodgers now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. And following an injury shortened campaign 2022, Watt returned to his elite form a season ago, recording the league leading 19 sacks and 19 tackles for loss. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. The last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now run straight ahead with Warren. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here is third and five. Now Fields. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. The 
Now we get to see the punter, Corliss Waitman. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Jets will take over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? No score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. They'll run with Hall. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. On first down, right back to Hall. He'll get this down to the 38. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 38 now, here's a second and seven. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 20-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's Rodgers. Going right back to Wilson. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Now a second and six. Back to the ground with Hall. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. To throw, it's Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Throwing is Rodgers. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. This one back. It's a pick six for Steeler touchdown.
Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And New York set to take the field. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now Hall to start the drive. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Now second and three. They'll go again with Hall. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. Third down and one. To throw is Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Throwing now is Rodgers. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Rodgers. That is incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's Rodgers. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. 
He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Rodgers going to throw. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out route. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Rodgers to throw once more. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And they'll start with a short field following that turnover as they look for points here before the break. Fields now to throw. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and a yard. Fields. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now it's Fields. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, Fields. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Calvin Austin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Boswell good with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And in the end, a Calvin Austin touchdown grab finished the drive off.
four seconds. All that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We got an excellent first half from the dynamic quarterback, Justin Fields. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Open man here is Conklin. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 45-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On play action, Rodgers. Finding Williams once more, complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he'll find Hall. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Shotgun now for Rodgers. A quick throw there is incomplete. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Straight ahead is home. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. 45 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Yeah, he's got it. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll look to run with Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets are back within a score. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure... Because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise, that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. They'll send Austin in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back to throw. Fields. Pickens is there on the crossing route. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. From the gun, here's Fields. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Running right through him. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Here's Fields. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Harris running straight ahead and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Fourth down now after a loss of two. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. Boswell's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. The Jets offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And he will find his man on the outside. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Second down and three. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The offense on third down tonight. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll set up the screen for Hall. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. 
Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. So from the 36 now, first and 10. One play action, Fields. He may go. That's down the field and caught by Fryermuth. A well-executed 22-yard game. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Here's Fryermuth again. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second down and three, ball on the seven. To throw his fields. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, C.D., and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there. And at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. The Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He completes it to Wilson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Two yards to go, second down. Now Rodgers. Well, this is caught by Williams. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. To throw is Rodgers. It's complete to Williams. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And again, it's Rodgers. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Third and four. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. They'll start the drive with Harris. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? They run again with Harris. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. On the give, this is Harris. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to 
says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted so that's a wrap for charles davis i'm brandon gunn and this has been a presentation of the nfl on ea sports for more check us out at easports.com the steelers earn the win at home as we say so long from pittsburgh